Dear champion, you have shown excellence in the martial arts. Therefore, I am inviting you to take part in my tournament champions at the Fushi Temple. As a contestant, you'll be pitted against other champions for the reward of becoming my apprentice. Welcome champions, follow me. This is where you'll stay for your journey. The bunks are simple and good enough for a martial artist. Now follow me to the dojo for your orientation. been invited here. Your skills are impressive and one of you will become my apprentice. But first, you must prove your worthiness to me. This tournament is not for the faint-hearted. It will take strength, talent, focus and above all discipline. I made it! Who, who are you? I am the son of Hashirama. Hashirama? I recognize that name. I found a letter from my grandmother. It reads, Evan, if you are reading this, I have passed. It is now your time to shine. Our family is renowned for raising exceptionally talented martial artists. Throughout history, we have stood beside kings, and emperors, presidents, and prime ministers. I know in my heart that you can uphold this tradition. There is a place that few go to prove their worth and to learn from a grand master. Go to him, learn from him, and become the greatest man that you can. I see great potential in you, Evan. You must stay. Oh yeah, cowabunga. Yeah. <laughs> 
Takedown techniques. I agree. He seems like an idiot, but he wouldn't do something like that on purpose. It wasn't an accident. He doesn't deserve to be here. He wasn't even invited. Your grandmaster's letting him stay. That's enough for me. Maybe he hasn't trained in a while. He could just be rusty. He picked up a broom. He has no idea what he is doing. I don't even know why he's here. He didn't even earn it. I have an idea. We should scare him. I don't think that's the right thing to do to you. Well, I think it is if we want the Grandmaster to have faith in us. He already does or else we wouldn't be here. He did, but then he came along and stuffed it up and now he's probably going to bring other people in to replace us. Yeah, okay, you, you may have a point. Good. And you stay out here and keep watch. If we do this now, he'll be gone by morning. Wake him up. Ah, my butt! Oh! Why are you sleeping outside your bunk? Uh, I got locked out. 
I suppose that you missed curfew then. Uh, yes, sir. Is this true? Yes, yes Grandmaster. Grandmaster. You disrespect my dojo. You must be punished! Fire! Enough! For this dishonorable behaviour, you're banned from today's training. But Grandmaster, that's... Ah! Leave! Don't touch that! You have no idea what you're dealing with! What's so special about that? Training is over! Get out! Calm down. You have more of a chance on yourself than you do me. Coming to try and scare me off again? No. But I can actually help you learn martial arts if you let me teach you. Why do you want to help me? Because I don't like what happened to you last night. If I win this thing, I'm winning it my way. And because everybody else was sabotaged. Is that really the only reason? Because you're still here. Despite what happened last night, you're sticking around, which means you're willing to prove you can do this. Alright, what are you going to teach me? You need to stay on the balls of your feet. Flat footy gives your opponent the advantage. Stay light and quick. Okay, got it. Flat bad, ball's good. Can we do something that, like, you know, doesn't disrupt my spleen? Uh, free spar? Alright.
Hey, uh, can you pass the salt, please? I'm sorry, but did you really have to assault me? Shut up. <laughs> Thank you for the meal, Grandmaster. Is this vegan? And do you know how many carbs pasta has in it? Pasta. Make it faster. <laughs> Feeling better, Grandmaster? Yes, I'm fine. I just needed a boost. And perhaps a good night's sleep. Early. I'm just trying to get in some extra training. It's not like it's gonna help. What is your problem? Seriously, get over yourself. No one likes you. So stupid. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> Look, and also in your nature, just go easy on you. Why should I? doesn't even deserve to be here. He's a good kid. Just give him a chance. Beg to differ. You're a pretty good shot though. I'm just good at aiming. I didn't hurt you the other day, did I? I tried to lay off a bit, but it's kind of hard when the grandmaster's watching. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, but and it bruised my pride a little bit. I'll be right. <laughs> sorry about that. No, I'm really, I'm sorry I, for what we did to you. Sasuke told us it was wrong, but I went with it anyway. I shouldn't have. Sorry. You're just threatened by my math skills. <laughs> Speaking of which, to make it up to you, will you let me help? I can give you some pointers. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Do you want me to teach you? Oh, not that. I like to stay away from things that are a bit too pointy on the end. Then why do you have a short sword in your back? <sighs> That's my grandma's. It makes me feel a little closer to her than what I actually am. Yeah, I get it. I, I lost my mother when I was nine. Car accident. Actually, this, this was hers. I've worn it ever since. It's nice to have something to remember her by. So. Whoa, watch it! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry, Evan. Did you just... What the hell is wrong with you? I almost shot you! I noticed. You walked in the way. Look. I came to apologize. Next time, do it when I'm not armed. Would you shut up? I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. What? I'm not saying it again. She's probably never said it before. <laughs> May not seem like it, but I mean it. My parents weren't the supportive types. They wanted a boy, and they got me instead. I was never coddled or protected when I was little. 
so I had to learn to protect myself. As I grew older, it just got easier, like, pushing people away instead of letting them come into my life. Well, that's a pain in the side. Look, I'm sorry for making you help me, and I'm sorry for making you watch. What about me? I'm not apologising to you. I meant what I said. You haven't earned your place here. But if you listen to me, I can help you earn it. Well, I can do that. Good, now shut up. champions. But now take me! Take me! You guys are not good enough for me, but you'll be good enough for them. Go to it now! Today's challenge is simple. Retrieve my relic, set deep in the forest. You have 30 minutes. Your time starts now! Ah! Ah! 
Okay. Evan, why did you bring a bat? In case I need to take the relic back. You will not take this relic from us. It's in our protection. You're gonna get so far if you take that thing. You will do the Lucy will get. Yeah, what is it? Well done, Evan. You've succeeded in retrieving the relic. Well, it was a team effort, sir. Yeah, we worked as a team. And? Dismissed. Night, y'all. Sweet dreams, guys. Well, I'm glad we can work as a team. Alright. Welcome all. Today marks the end of your training. And for one, a new chapter in your life. Due to the wonderful display of originality, technique and tact, the winner is none other than Evan. Congrats, Evan. Thanks. You're all dismissed. Evan, follow me. Yes, grandmaster. Please. I told you before, Evan, that I knew of your grandmother. That is true. I knew her some time ago. You did? How? Did you train with her? Not quite. Your grandmother and I didn't see things the same way. Your grandmother was a great martial artist, Evan. But she fought for the wrong reasons. Honour, loyalty, protection. She wanted none of it and she used her skills for her own gain. I used mine to stop her. What? My grandmother, she wouldn't have. <sighs> that was only a facade, Evan. A mask she put on after you were born. Her attacks forced me to find ways to protect myself.
My grandmother never had enemies. Everyone loved her. I need to know, Evan. Now that you're my apprentice, do you follow her path or mine? I can't. I don't. How can I answer that? If you cannot, let us see for ourselves. Take one. These movements seem to be not following my path. Whoa. Did you see what I did there? You're a natural. I suppose. Let me tell you the story, Evan, of a great warrior that lived 200 years ago. Though he was great, he was mortal, and he feared he would one day die. He feared death so much that he searched for an amulet that was said to grant eternal life. Huh. Magic amulet? Seems like someone lied to that book, right? This is what many believe, but most don't know that he found it. He discovered its secrets and found there was a price. I could have thought of that. Nothing's free in this world. Very true, Evan. And the price was a steep one. One that I just strong to pay! <laughs> <laughs> You see, Evan, the only way to gain a life is to take a life from the strongest and the greatest sustenance. Oh, what are you doing? Oh. You're too much like your grandmother, Evan. I can't let you live. You okay, bro? Oh, you look like death. Something seriously wrong with him. Grandmaster, amulet, take energy. What? Sir? Feel me, feel me, feel me, feel me, feel me, feel me,
I took that sword from her when I took her life. She would not have used it to kill me. Ah, you killed her! You're better than this. Please don't kill me. I refuse to walk your path, or my grandmother's. I'll walk my own. No! No! That's all it took? Seriously? Well, at least he's gone. You did it, man. You know what, Evan? Maybe you have earned your place here. Finally! Well done to all of us. We did it together. I can't wait to see how the new dojo turned out. You guys ready? So ready. Welcome to Kame Martial Arts.